Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Daxa, the Precursor Legacy. This is Spiraling Helix, last time we went over to Misty Island. And pretty much sorted out all the power cells there and stopped the Lycas from doing... Lyca stuff. This time, just before we head to Fire Canyon, I'm gonna trade my power orbs for a power cell. For your gift, another power cell is yours. Yeah! And actually, because you don't tend to say anything interesting, statue, I wonder if I can change the language to Japanese just for this one time. No! No! Oh, I guess not. I guess you have to own a Japanese copy for that. You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. Yeah! The reason why I wanted to check out the Japanese one though is because Jack screams at the top of his lungs whenever he gets a power cell. And oh my goodness, I missed the platform. And starfish! Look at the starfish. Starfish do actually move, it's weird. Anyway though, let's get the last of the Precursor's orbs. And that old Gandalf farmer is a little bit crazy. But with that, this is all the Precursor orbs for Sandover Village. And it's time for us to move on through Fire Canyon. Hey there, Kira. What you got for me today? Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Okay, here we go then. So here's the main thing with the Zuma. There is a dial in the bottom left for temperature. Thank you, Daxa. And we also have those blue currents, like the blue eco vents, that's what they're called. And I'm gonna... Okay, jumping on that Lurker is a bad idea. I'm fine with this though, because I'm probably gonna die at some point. Maybe it'll be from actually dying and not from overheating. But there are only two power cells in Fire Canyon. One for getting all of the scout flies, and one for getting to the end. Pretty easy. And it is worth noting that the blue eco vents will. Wham! Dead. They will permanently speed you up as long as you don't hit anything and you never let go of the acceleration. Basically, the go button. Yeah! But yeah, you just want to hit all the balloons. Hitting lurkers helps you stay off the ground. And I think if you can keep this speed, it's better to actually get the eco vent. And of course, going over the liquid lava stuff is hotter. And it's basically all the... I missed that balloon. That's not good. And even faster. Max power. I'm not going at max yet, but... How? I, I went right over that thing. Come on, game. Come on. Don't, don't, don't beep at me. No. That's what happens when you miss the cooling balloons. This is actually harder than it looks. Actually, no. I'm dying a fair bit. Maybe it's easier than it looks. Maybe I'm not doing a good job. Okay, I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm. For real this time, let's go without all the failures. And yes, just basically staying off the lava is very helpful. 
I still think, like, I still... I'm pretty certain it's better to go through the eco vent. But, as long as I, I hit all these cooling balloons. And I missed it again! And I'm going to deliberately slow down for this thing, because, oh my goodness, why could I not collect that before? Straight through the dark eco boxes. That's okay, ignore the eco vent, just get the scout fly. And I missed that eco vent? I didn't know you could miss that one. But with that, brrr, yeah! Thankfully not overheating, we stopped time. And with that, every precursor orb and for finishing the trip through fire canyon boom another power set. We made it! okay i don't think i could quite go that far but if i did i would certainly turn it down for you guys anyway before we explore rock village let's head into the blue sages hut and a, well Let's at least turn the power on. Whoa! I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh, and it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're going to need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. Give you an update? I don't think I will. Now, you can go back to the Green Sage's hut, or even Geyser Rock if you want to, from any teleport again. And now this one, but let's see what info they have around this place. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. Of particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest transpad. Ride the zoomer to a green eco vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here, and don't forget the corners. Don't forget the corners in this round building, Daxter. Also, though, can I just add? What are these? Are they hands or feet? Like the, the... Not his hand, obviously. The things on the wooden stumps. Anyway, though, what about you, Kira? Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of um, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not! Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh... You know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. As much as I play as Jack and I should hate Daxter, I just love Daxter! He's the best character! Also, Flut Flut's now here! I believe we will be seeing Flut Flut at some time in the future. But let's check out Rock Village now. Well, we're here. And funny enough, there is an invisible wall or something here to stop you from exploring until you go into the Blue Sage's hut. But let's get that scout fly hiding between there and see what the villagers will have to say, or at least a couple of them. Until we find out why the Blue Sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him. 45? Already almost? Well, we're a lot closer than I thought. Anyway, this is by far the worst blue eco 
precursor safe thing ever. But before I actually no no, I'm gonna knock that out right now. By the way, precursor basin right here, which is probably where we will explore first. And yes, I know I got blue weaker, and I'm going the wrong way. But behind here, I could swear. Yes, there is another thing here. And is there one down here? Please get down. Thank you. Oh, not down, not that far, Jack. Oh my goodness. Like a sharks are scary. And go, 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 go. And then get this one. Wait, what? Isn't that one here? I'm confused. Now. Where did? Where was that last one I got? Um, there's one there, and oh, oh, is it further around? You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Okay. I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm looking for Blue Eco. Anyway, though, that's yet another reason. Oh, it's around this side. Another reason for us to head straight to the precursor basin when we begin exploring around this place. Take two. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, it might not look like that helped much, but it gets me just far enough to activate it through the wall. And with that, that is the hardest precursor vent to grab. You can have your precursor orbs once we get those lightning moles helped out. Those people disappeared for a second, but they're back. Who to talk to first? I believe you have something interesting. Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, Armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on! But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. And that's. Quite a story, but the comment where Daxter's just like, why haven't you used your melodrama? Because it's killing me. That is by far one of the funniest lines in this game. I think I'll talk to you for another time. You must have a good reason for that barrel. But I think I will give you the 90 power precursor. 
wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. And with that magical floating bridge, snakes, that's not much of a bridge, dude. They're just platforms. But we get a power cell for doing that too. The game doesn't tell you that, but you get one. And you do actually need to do that in order to, well, you know, get over here to that weapon? It's not even much of a weapon, really. The device to move this giant boulder out of the way. Because the boulder does not yield. You don't have enough power cells to power the Blue Sage's machine. We can't lift that boulder until you collect 45 Okay, Kira, thanks for reminding me. Anyway, the big ancient precursor underwater city place is through there if you... Actually, I'm gonna go that way now, but along this path is a place known as the Boggy Swamp. And I'm probably gonna leave that till last because it's a swamp and I hate swamps. A lot. But the... Ancient Precursor City, I believe I've got that right. I almost called it the Precursor Basin. There's a whole lot of Precursor stuff. But, uh, and there's a scout fly over by the Boggy Swamp, isn't there? Yep. I knew I should have gone all the way. But through here, we will... I'm not going this way yet, guys. Don't worry. But you will be able to actually activate all the ye yellow? No. No, I am making things up, guys. Don't worry. I was thinking that there is a certain eco vent that in there that opens up all the others, but I am thinking of another place in the game. But with that, that is Rock Village. Called Rock Village not because of these rocky landscapes, no more because of the giant flaming boulders that are raining down from the sky. That's right, a rainy day in Rock Village is just your average little rock that falls down. And by a little, we mean twice the size of Jack in height. And by the way, don't touch them. They do hurt. And did that do... No, I hit a dark precursor thing. But with that guys, next time I think we shall head into the Precursor Basin, which is gonna be a Zoomer featured area actually. Just can't get enough of the Zoomer lately. Anyway, see you guys next time. This has been Spiraling, whoop, Spiraling Helix. Bye bye everybody. Look at that moonwalk. Go Jack, do the moonwalk. Do the moonwalk.